What's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer and welcome to the UPBA Season 1 Week 1 Team Analysis. <laughs> That's a mouthful. I am your coach for the St. John Sharpedos and today, um, today I'm going to go over my team against, oh my god, who was what I fought? Oh yes, um, the Haunch. Of the, of the Chicago Bulus. There we go. My mind hasn't gone yet. Being 25 years old and, you know, my mind shouldn't be going yet. <laughs> so, today, I'm going to do things a little bit differently than when I do my team analysis. Normally, I go, I pick this move for this reason. I pick move for this reason. Today, I'm just going to straight up just tell you all what the mons are, what the moves are, and pop you into the video. Why? Not because I'm lazy, because because really I don't know what mons he brought at the, well, I mean, this is post, uh, post battle, but <laughs> I know what mons he brought now, but for the sake of movie magic, or video, I guess video magic in this case, <laughs> Uh, oh my god, everything is so white behind me. I don't know why, everything is so white. Ugh. Almost like I'm, um, like, like, every, I mean, like, look at my hands. Hold on, hold on a second, like, look at this. <laughs> it's like I, li almost like I live on the surface of the sun or something, oh my lord. Alright. <laughs> Tangents aside. Um... So this is my team analysis for the UPBA Week 1 against Chicago Bulus or the Haunch. So, uh, the match went over fine, quote unquote, but this is who I brought. Um, I brought Gallade, uh, of course holding the Gallade because he's my Mega. Uh, with justified at his ability because it, it changes to because um, it changes anyway uh, I gave him sword stance Zen headbutt ice punch and close combat I gave him um, in terms of EVs I gave him four uh, two I gave him max EVs and attack and speed and uh, the rest in HP um, not really didn't really know where else to put that for. I decided to put an HP just because it was his basically his next highest stat. Um, or at least that was my thought process at the time. So uh, Zen headbutt for flinch, you know, ice punch for and close combat just for stab something hit very hard. Uh, next is uh, frostbite or weavile rocking in with a life orb. Uh, with pressure as its ability, with knockoff, icicle crash, ice shard, and poison jab. Um, poison jab, well, knockoff just because of the ju just because of the plain fact he's like the like the best knockoff user, or at least in my per or my honest opinion. Um, I gave him max EVs in attack and speed. Um, with the rest in special defense. Oh, I. Didn't even say what nature he was. Uh, what nature they were. <laughs> I don't think nature really matters at this point. Um, with a beat, uh, well, for Glade it was a speed boosted nature, and same thing with uh, same thing with uh, Weavile. Next we have Can <laughs> Canada or Odino rocking leftovers with Regenerator as its ability with Wish, Heal Bell, Thunder Wave, and Knockoff. Um, Wish and Heal Bell, I mean, he's our cleric. Wish and Heal Bell is basically, like, the crux of Adeno's set all the time. Thunder Wave, um, Thunder Wave to, uh, to slow them down, and with the 30%, it's a 30, no, 50% chance of them not moving that turn. So, that's kind of why I got, uh, Thunder Wave. Knock off, because... <laughs> Even though Adeno isn't really good as a knockoff user, I could have went with Double Edge. 
Uh, but I decided with knockoff because because items go around and knockoff kind of um, uh, kind of helps like getting I think knockoff will do more I think knockoff will do more damage uh, than uh, knockoff will do I think knockoff will do more damage if they're holding an item than double edge will um, so I think that's why I pick knockoff uh, and either which way, I gave uh, Adeno max EVs in HP and special defense, and the rest in defense. Uh, next, I pick uh, Crowbat. Crowbatman. Crowbatman. Uh, <laughs> uh, Crowbatman or Crowbat rock and black sludge with infiltrator as its ability. With Brave Bird, U turn, Roost, and Defog. Um, Brave Bird because it's Brave Bird. Um. Hits hard. Sure, he gets hit with recoil, but that's why he has black sludge. Uh, U-turn in case things get hairy, and I want to, and I want him out fast, especially with its monstrously high speed stat. Uh, U-turn will basically is gonna guarantee he gets out of there with a little bit of chip damage, doing a little bit of chip damage, and swapping out uh, if things get hairy. Uh, Roost, and <laughs> he's not exactly the most offensive mon out there. Uh, so I gave him Roost uh, just to give him a little bit more um, li livability, I'll say, because Black Sludge only heals like 1 16th or something. I think Black Sludge heals the same amount as Leftovers. And Defog uh, to get rid of... Um, uh, to get rid of uh, entry hazards like Stealth Rocks, Toxic Spikes, or whatever. Next is a cruel tent. Our tentacruel ro also rock and blacks. Oh wait, before I move on, I forgot. I put max. I put 400, 200, 200, 248 uh, EVs in HP, 212 in speed, and 48 in defense. Because speed on a crowbat is excellent. <laughs> Uh, so, a cruel tent, tentacruel. Rocking in with black sludge, liquid ooze as its ability, rocking scald, rapid spin, toxic spikes, and knockoff. Um, knockoff, or um, scald, because it's like uh, the best water type move for uh, tentacruel. Uh, especially uh, if the toxic spikes don't, if the toxic spikes don't work. He has the chance of burning. Uh, rapid spin to get rid of uh, entry hazards, toxic spikes because toxic spikes, and uh, knockoff. I just realized I have three knockoff on my. I had three knockoffs on my team. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and uh, knockoff. Knockoff probably would have been better on the tentacruel over Adeno, but I wasn't thinking clearly. Um, but uh, yeah, next is Husqvarna. For those of you who don't know what Husqvarna is, Husqvarna is a lawnmower uh, brand or a garden works brand, mostly known for their lawnmowers. And who's the lawnmower on our team? Rotom Mo. <laughs> uh, holding the choice specs with Levitate as its ability. With Leaf Storm, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, and Trick. So, Leaf Storm, uh, because it's the strongest grass type move that it has. Uh, Volt, uh, mix that in with the Choice Specs. Oh boy. Um, Volt Switch, just in case he swaps out. Um, Thunderbolt, because it's Thunderbolt. <laughs> and Trick. The reason for trick is if because if I send Rotom to a user of uh, to a user that don't really use choice or special type moves, or even if I just want to lock a mod into one move, trick will swap the items. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
I gave um, Husqvarna uh, max EVs in speed and special attack and the rest in defense. So, I think I had the right coverage there for his team. Uh, anyway, so, I, th I don't know. My, my mind is going like a billion miles an hour right now. <clears throat> so, apparently, I have a hole in the bottom of my chin. I just wasted water. Thankfully, not on the, not really on the floor, but I wasted on my pants. I think that was too much information. Sorry, probably cut that one out. So, so that was the team that I rocked in with um, for week one. I hope you guys enjoy the battle, and if you guys enjoyed the, if you guys enjoyed the battle, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Like, really close to the camera. <laughs> like you never hit it before. And subscribe to the channel for more videos. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer. And I will see you guys next week.